Next year, I plan on releasing a book journal. And this book journal is going to be to help track the books that you read throughout the year, but it's also going to give some suggestions on books that I have read personally. I am a reader. I am a real reader. I read a lot and I retain a lot of um, information. Now, as you guys probably have also noticed, I am very opinionated. I stand in my opinions and I am perfectly fine with other people having opinions and we can discuss things back and forth. One thing, um, one book that I have really, really appreciated is called The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF. This book is a total banger. This book is necessary. Now, this book, you can also find it on audiobook. It's an easy read. But one thing people have got to be OK with is having an opinion and having people push back against that opinion. I don't do um Vince sitting. I am who I am. You know, I am an educated agnostic black woman who's a feminist, a mother, a wife, all of that. And most of my positions and opinions are probably people can probably gauge where I'm going to fall on things because of um, the fact that I have stated who I am in my value system. So this book has allowed me to become even more unbothered in how I approach other people and how people approach me when they don't like my opinion or my stances or how I say things and all. The next book I want to talk about is The Four Agreements. The Four Agreements is a great book. It's small, it's easy, and it's a good book to revisit. I want to talk to you about number one and number two in this book. Be impeccable with your word. In order to have integrity, you have got to have a stance. you got to know yourself. Who are you? What do you stand for? If you have, if you know your value system and you speak with integrity, meaning you are a person that walks the talk, you walk it like you talk it, you walk it like you talk it. That is being integral. That is so important in business, in relationships, in any kind of um, thing where you're, we, where you need to build rapport. And that this is how you build your reputation is having integrity and that you use your power. It says use the power of your word to offer love. This, this is how you build relationships. You say what you mean. You mean what you say. And sometimes you are saying no, you're creating your boundaries, but you're speaking life to yourself as well. You're, you're being honest with yourself. And then this is how you create bonds with folks. Number two, don't take things personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a result of their own dream or perception of their rules. We all have our own life experiences. And so how people operate is based on their experiences, their value system, and their beliefs and opinions and all of that. But the, the important thing is you have your belief system. And so you have got to be okay with folks having a belief system and you having a belief system and being like, you know what? That's cool. That's you. Some people don't want to let it go. They believe that, you know, they believe so strongly in their belief system that it's just like they can't let it go. <laughs> but this is the reason why you don't take things personally. Sometimes folks see a um, see you walking a different walk as a push back against their beliefs. And that's okay. That's okay. You have to release that. Don't fight folks about your beliefs. Don't fight folks about their beliefs. Just be like, okay, I recognize that that is how you're living. <laughs> that, that's all you have got to do. And then if you refer back to the first book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, when you, when you combine these two things together, you will become completely unbothered by folks having beliefs, having different opinions, all of that. So these are the two books that I wanted to highlight today. My book review, totally, totally worth it. Um, the Four Agreements you can find easily because it's been out there for years. And like I said, this is the type of thing that you want to um, refresh and just reread because it's good to make sure that you are integral and that you are okay with folks having different opinions than you and just don't take stuff personally. Don't take, don't take things personally. You have to, got to remind yourself. I've got to remind myself and all that. And just don't give an F.
all the time. <laughs> Just don't. Anyways, you guys go ahead, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share.